So do you want to print t-shirts? I bet you just want to make money. My name's Josh Ellsworth from Stalls, and I've been teaching people how to start their own side hustle, educating on YouTube for more than 15 years, teaching you not only how to print shirts, but the right way to produce high quality results so you can generate repeat customers. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you something a little different, but we're still going to talk about making money. I'm going to show you how you can add hats, headwear, that's right, extremely profitable caps to your arsenal to generate even more income than you're making on your t-shirt business. It's really extraordinary. At Stalls, we've innovated a new machine that makes this possible with only two feet of counter space. Let's talk about how to do it. So this is a story of Tim Parr. Tim has a small apparel decorating business in New Jersey. And this is an actual job that was completed for one of his clients. I always like to start with the money because it's about what you can make in the business. And what we see here on the total job profit for printing 14 hats, Tim delivered $128.10 to his business. Now, if Tim were able to sell jobs like this across the course of an hour, he could generate over $500 in profit. Yes, that includes the transfer, the hat, the labor, the overhead to complete the job. It's all in there. At this rate, Tim could see a return on investment for the heat press that we're going to show you all about in this video in just three hours. And the fact of the matter is, Tim is seeing a return on his investment. He's decorating more products than ever with the press, not only caps, but items such as face masks, beanies, and more. So lots of opportunities. Now, I know that caught your attention when you saw the logo on the hat, and it caught the client's attention as well. They just love that finished result. We're gonna talk all about this, uh, that product in this video. It's called FlexStyle, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply it onto high quality headwear so you can have results similar to Tim's. But before we get there, the universe is bigger than just this story. This 360 IQ cat press, since we launched it, has won awards. And better than that, we've sold thousands of units out into the market. All of this in the middle of a pandemic. It's quite unbelievable, but it really hit the mark because it solves a challenge that has existed for a while in printing hats. You just couldn't heat press them accurately with heat presses of old because it would leave a nasty crease mark. So we still sell some older style hat presses that you can certainly invest in in your business, and there's a lot of brands of hat presses that are out there. But if you want to achieve the best quality results across all of the looks that I'm going to show you today, there's only one hat press for the job, and that's the Hotronics 360 IQ. Take a look at some of these testimonials from customers that have already received delivery of this press and the results they're experiencing. They're quite excited. Look at these rhinestone finishes. These can be decorated on the press as well. Leather patches, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's one of the top trending looks that are out there and you can complete those on the machine. Additional jobs with flex style, certainly there's a lot of looks you can create with this dimensional type of logo and all of them look great when they're decorated onto a high quality hat. Embroidered like results aren't to be left behind. Whether that's something that's 3D or an embroidered patch. This is a quicker, easier way to do it. And quite frankly, it's less expensive than investing in high-end embroidery equipment and having to learn it. So I could show you countless of these stories, but the point that I want you to understand as we lead into this video is that there is a real opportunity in hat printing. And if you're one of those folks that, that are thinking, oh my gosh, this is a sales pitch, well, it's true. I wanna sell you on the idea that you can earn an income and you can make money by printing hats. Now, let's walk through some of these videos and give you the real how-to advice and show you the differences between some of the options for printing high-quality headwear. Let's start with FlexStyle. Now, we're looking at our Dimensional Logo product brochure. And if you look down in the description, you can always click a link to access this and download it so you can have a copy for yourself to explore all the pricing. But I wanted to show you here because it compares the options available in FlexStyle very nicely. And so FlexStyle is sold in four different styles uh, at the time of publishing this video because we're always growing the options. Uh, you'll see the top one is textured. 
Now, this gives you this raised textured finish and, and ridges and intricate detail that you can uh, feel uh, on the surface of the material. And it's probably the most popular version of flex style that we see people using across garments, hats, etc. We also have domed, which has more of a shiny, smooth 3D surface. You see the rounded corners. It's a little bit thicker and has a little bit more rise to it, so it stands off the hat just a little bit more. Um, and both of the finishes that I just covered are available in metallic or non-metallic or clear, which means if you want a design that's just base colors, you can get the non-metallic finish. But if you want it to be shiny, uh, like the example that you're seeing here, you can get the metallic finish as well. Uh, and then clear, kind of a cool finish, but it's uh, see-through. It's clear as you might imagine. So it gives that sort of wet appearance onto a dark color when it's been applied. Uh, pretty, pretty neat finish. Now, that's the textured in the dome. You can also get flex style in the flat version. And so this has the raised 3D effect, but it has just a, a, a flatter appearance, a relieved appearance. So if you're trying to create a brand logo where they're very particular and don't want their logo messed with, with textures or by being domed, uh, we see a lot of work done for business clients in this flat version. It maintains the integrity of the logo while still giving you that really cool look. And then the last one is beveled. And I think you can see it from the photo and the image here, but this has nice uh, sharp corners. Um, it's a little thicker, a little bit more rigid. So it is a great product for headwear, uh, not so much when applied to garments. So we recommend it for bags, headwear, etc. But nonetheless, a great option uh, with the right type of logo with um, thicker lines or more of a badge style, like you're seeing here, uh, you can really get this finish, this beveled finish to come to life. So these are the four styles of flex style. Now, something you have to think about when you're ordering logos to decorate hats is, how many do I need to order? How many do I need to print? For the products that I'm showing you at the beginning of this video, what we're going through right now, it's best if you get to 25 hats sold to be profitable on these. A lot of the products have a minimum order quantity. That means you need to order 25 of the same logo. Now, I'll show you how to order these here in a moment, but I really wanna show you how easy it is to apply this because we've been watching for a little while now. Let's show you the actual hat press at work and how you create these results. And to do that, I'm gonna flash back to a video that I created previously, but narrate you through. So. Step number one, and the first thing you need to understand is this hat press is heated from both the top and the bottom. So this creating of a heat sandwich is the way that you need to apply dimensional logos to be able to get the variety of finishes that I'm showing you here in this video. And so by heating it from underneath, I get to the adhesive a little bit quicker. And by heating it from the top, I'm also uh, applying heat from the top side to get that nice durable bond onto the hat that you're gonna decorate. So the looks you're gonna create, none of them are gonna be able to be peeled off or come off of the hat uh, through repeated wearing and getting beat up. They're going to last, trust me on that. And so I load the hat onto the press and it's always best if you flip out the sweatband. Most hats have a sweatband and if that sweatband's thick enough, you want to flip that sweatband out. Um, from there, you just wanna seat the hat down on and you lock down the hold down device. That's right on the side of the press that helps hold the hat tightly against the lower base that's heated up. Now, you may have to just wiggle the hat slightly to get good contact because the last thing you wanna do is create a gap between that lower base and the print area of the hat because the hat can get creased at that point and can damage. And we don't want to ruin any hats when we're printing uh, them here. So with the hat loaded, uh, sweatband flipped out, hold down device locked down and making sure it's tight against the lower base. Now I'm ready to position my flex style logo. So simply position this into place um, if you hold it against the hat for just a few seconds, it tends to melt the adhesive just a bit since it's heating from underneath, and that will get it to hold nicely. Otherwise, we do have a little accessory called thermal tape that you can tape your logo in place. That's helpful, especially if you're just starting out. Then here's the key. You cover that logo in the hat with our special foam cover pad that comes with the press. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the details of the application settings right now. We will get there, but the recipe for each transfer comes with the logo itself. It's going to tell you the time, the temperature, and the pressure, as well as the foam pad that you need to use to get success on the application. And we've tested thousands of hats to dial in these settings. Uh, customers have validated the settings and you'll get perfect results every time. We just know you will. So with everything in place, you lock the press down for the recommended dwell time. 
the machine will count down. It's cooking your cake. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to taste awesome. No, it's not really going to taste like anything, but it is going to make you a lot of profit. Once the press is done, it automatically opens for you. And that's it, guys. You peel the backing away after you've removed the hat and you have a completed result. How easy is that? In less than 60 seconds for all of the logo types I'm showing you today, you can complete a high quality hat. That's why we feel confident saying, Tim, you can produce these 14 hats in 15 minutes or less. Simply have to load, position, press, voila, it's done. And then you go on to the next hat. Now I know what you're thinking, what am I gonna do for those 30 to 60 seconds while the heat press is down? And that's why a lot of the people we've sold this press to have a second press beside it. They don't take up a lot of space and they can run them in tandem to really increase your throughput once you start to sell a lot of hats and you can make a lot more money per hour that way. But nonetheless, this is flex style. It's one of the top trending finishes out there. Very easy to heat apply. We can create these effects that you've seen, whether it's the texture, the flat, the dome, the bevel. Um, in your logo, you just upload your logo to stalls.com, select the finish you want, the effect you want. We give you a rendering back, you approve it, and you order. And so from end to end, from the time you upload, most people are getting their logos to their door in 10 business days or less, assuming you approve the art quickly and, and hold up your end of the deal. So very uh, opportunistic with the flex style, and you can guarantee that your customers will love this finish and they'll be coming back for repeat orders. Now, before we get too far, I wanna make sure that we cover hat style because um, there's a lot of lingo to learn when you start printing hats, and if you wanna be professional in your presentation of them, it helps to, to understand the terms when you're referring to a, a nice hat. And so the most basic probably is how many panels are in that hat, and so I'll take this example for instance. Uh, this is a six panel cap. And what that means is if you count the triangles, basically a fabric, whether it's a mesh fabric, or the actual uh, fabric itself that the hat's constructed of, um, you can count those. And if I count these panels, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the dead giveaway to that is there's almost always a center seam. Of course, that center seam is located in the primary print area for most hats, although uh, we do see some additional branding areas possible if you want to, but you're almost always printing over that. Now that center seam creates a challenge for a lot of production processes that are out there for printing hats. But not to worry, with heat transfers, with heat printing, you can go directly over that seam without an issue. But this is a six panel cap. Now, the, this is a five panel cap. And again, we can count the panels, but it's usually a giveaway by this longer uh, front portion that doesn't have a seam down the center. So you'll see a lot of decorators that are doing uh, screen printing processes and other uh, processes, they'll go towards a five panel cap because they're a little easier to print but it also has a different aesthetic. So this may be a look that your customer's after uh, when they're printing it. Now, um, there's also some unique constructions out there. I like this one particularly um, that are popular in different markets. This is a seven panel cap. And so you'll have uh, your traditional panels, instead of just having the solid uh, five panel with the center, you have two additional panels up top that add to the style in the design of the hat. Um, Another important term when you're thinking about printing hats is structured versus unstructured, okay? And so an unstructured cap um, is really, I'll remove the cardboard that comes in my hat, um, is really unstructured on the front. So it's soft, it kind of sits flat, uh, almost always fits on a lower profile on whoever's wearing it. Um, and it's very easy to maneuver and stretch out and lay onto the hat press. Now, when you deal with a structured cap, uh, let's see, we have this one. Um, on a structured cap, you have what's called a fused uh, buckram. And a fused buckram basically means that um, it's solid in here. There's a structure to it. So when you bend it, you know, it's going to hold. Or if you crease it, if you leave a crease in it, if you've pressed with another hat press before, it's going to be a permanent mark. And so these hats have traditionally been very challenging to decorate. But a lot of people love um, a structured uh, cap because of the way it fits. And it's certain, certainly possible to be able to print uh, structured caps on this heat press uh, without an issue because of the innovation of heating from underneath as well as the foam cover pad. Now, you wanna learn some other basic terms and you can consult with the blank headwear supplier to learn those terms. But uh, the difference between a fitted and a snapback and a trucker cap, um, these are all uh, different things you'll wanna learn. Uh, but whether you wanna print structured, unstructured, uh, snapbacks, truckers, flat bills, fitted, uh, even performance, poly 
polyester, um, all of those things are possible on this machine. So if you're wondering where to get hats, um, what I've done is I've linked some of my favorite suppliers down in the description if you're watching this video on YouTube, and you can make sure to check out these different suppliers and make sure you order in samples and set up an account with them. All right, let's take a look at the next transfer product that we're going to decorate with. So the next look I wanna show you is a product called CAD Prints Permatwill and Textured Twill. And the reason I chose this product next is because I feel like it's one of the most premium but lowest cost options to decorate hats. So if you're looking for something that looks great and has great profit, uh, this is a great choice. And so we're gonna show you decorating this 47 brand hat, which is unstructured and it's a uh, trucker style. And I'll compare the options here between the CAD Prints Permatwill and the textured twill. Uh, only difference on these is finish. Uh, both of these logos, it's possible to do uh, full color. So again, you can upload your artwork, doesn't matter how many colors are in it, you get this patch that's ready to apply and it just needs to be heat applied. Uh, it doesn't need to be sewn at all. You'll see here how I'm positioning that uh, after I've loaded the hat directly over the seam on this six panel cap. And then uh, this one, because it is sublimated, we don't want the color to bleed onto the heater. So I use a special little uh, paper cover sheet that comes with your patch to cover that up. Again, instructions come uh, with the material, with the transfer when you get it. You're still gonna cover with the foam pad. You always wanna use that when you're doing dimensional products with this 360 IQ hat press. And then I'm gonna lock the machine down for the recommended time, temperature, and pressure. Now, on this one, it's 280 degrees on top. 320 degrees on bottom. It goes for uh, 45 seconds uh, for the application time. And again, the machine will automatically open, so we'll fast forward through that process. Uh, when it's finished, then you're just gonna remove the foam cover pad, remove the special cover sheet, and that's it. You have a completed hat. Now, the economics, just to cover uh, this on what a logo costs, let's look in at our price grid, and let me show you how to calculate it for this product. The first thing you need to do is you need to figure out the number of square inches in your design. And so just take the uh, width multiplied by the height and that should equal square inches. So if it's uh, two by two inches, um, it's going to be four square inches. Now think about how many pieces you are going to order uh, to decorate with. This is one of those products where you can order a little bit lower minimum if you're looking to service that need. At that point, you figure out the number of pieces, the square inches, find out where those lines intersect on the price grid and you get a price per square inch. Now multiply that price per square inch times your four, right? Because there are four square inches in my design and I have my price per logo. So as you can see in the example here, very cost effective to get these logos. And keep in mind, these products are applying and we're talking about hats today, but it's, it's very profitable to take a logo, order a higher quantity and make sure you pick a size that can apply to other items. Um, actually, I'm gonna flash back to this video where we decorated this with the CAD Prince Permatwill. Um, since we just showed you the texture twill, this is the Permatwill, and we were able to decorate not only this hat uh, with the Permatwill, but we were able to decorate a bag, a jacket, and also a, um, like a quarter zip, it's actually a button up, but a high-end Sherpa garment, all with the same logo. So decorating for a construction crew or an excavating crew, um, the idea here is you order the 25 or the 50 pieces, and if you decorate four items, uh, maybe you can only decorate for 15 people in the business or 10 people in the business. It's very possible to be able to decorate for small businesses and generate profitability not only on hats, but on other items. Okay, so that's CAD Prince Permatwill and Textured Twill. Now, before we go too far, one of the questions I always get is, how about beanies, right? If we're, you're watching this in the cold winter months or beanies are even becoming uh, more than just a seasonal item, it's a style item. And yes, you can decorate beanies on this press. So I have a few different beanie styles here, uh, but there are lots of different beanies uh, available from the different suppliers that I've linked down in the description. And I'm gonna go into another product to show you how to decorate beanies and that's embroidered patches. So if I had to say the top product for decorating headwear, it's probably an embroidered patch. Why? Because embroidery has been the typical decoration method uh, for headwear for many, many years. And so people want to match that, but they want to do it quicker and easier. So a patch is a great style. So in this video, actually Jenna um, had completed this beanie to show us how to do it. So you'll see uh, a really cool multicolor, multicolors of thread in your embroidered patch. And you can, again, up, upload your logo, 
We digitize it for you, give you an actual camera proof of the embroidered patch so you can actually get a photo of one patch, approve it, and then place your order. And you can send that photo to your client to get buy-in before you place your actual order. You just pay the setup fee. Once again, 25 pieces as you're watching the hat be decorated here, you wanna really target that 25 pieces um, of a hat or of an item if you're decorating more than just hats for your minimum quantity. And as you can see, you just gotta make sure you load the hat right that you don't uh, do it upside down. But once you uh, tape that into place, get the concept, you press it the exact same way, guys. It's so easy to not only do hats, but to do beanies and do even more than that as we've seen in the last couple of examples here to really generate more profit. Now. Let's take a look at the embroidered patch part of the pricing so we can walk you through how this looks. So again, another grid, but this one's a little bit different. So I wanna make sure you get the nuances here on how to calculate pricing. Um, on this one, we are looking at um, a different equation. So what you need to do is you still need the, the height and the width of your design. Let's go with the same calculation and say it were a two by two design. But instead of finding the square inches where we would multiply them like we did on the last example, what I need to do is add the width and the height together. So two plus two, everybody knows that hopefully, equals four, okay? So you have your four, and then the other part of the equation is I take that four and you divide it by two. And so basically I'm looking at two linear inches. So I find that two linear inches wherever it fits on the top of my grid, and then I'm going to intersect that with the quantity that I want, so let's say you want 50 pieces uh, at that two linear inches, you'd be seeing the price per patch would be $2.35. Now keep in mind down at the bottom here we have it, there is a setup fee. Um, sometimes we run promotions on the setup fee, so that's something to look for, but normally the setup fee is $52, and that happens at the point when you upload your artwork. Um, and then there's also um, a physical uh, proof sample fee. So if, you're, if you want more than just the camera proof where we take a photo of it and you want an actual physical copy um, where you can decorate one item to show it to your client, that cost is outlined here as well. But nonetheless, very cost effective, very easy to order a patch and then you need to match that with the cost of the hat that you're decorating, of course include the labor and overhead, but you can still make a ton of profit with embroidered patches onto hats. Now, one of my favorite products, and it doesn't sell as much in all honesty as, as some of the other products that we've already covered, but I just think it looks awesome. And so if you're looking for something to make a brand stand out, uh, it's 3D embroidery. Uh, think of your favorite baseball cap if you're a, a sports fan. Almost always those traditional baseball caps, whether it's a Pirates logo or a Yankees logo or a Boston Red Sox logo, uh, LA Dodgers, you're going to get 3D embroidery, you're gonna get that dimensional look. So we see it used a lot in sport, um, especially if you're decorating for teams. But 3D embroidery or puff embroidery is a product that is super challenging to do uh, with an embroidery machine with sourcing the foam material and preventing uh, thread breaks and needle breaks, et cetera, a lot of technical knowledge. Well, you can order 3D embroidered patches that can be just heat applied on and you would never know the difference. Uh, actually, a lot of the big guys uh, like New Era, et cetera, they're doing panel manufacturing of their hats. So if you look on, on the inside of your favorite baseball cap, it won't even look like it's sewn completely through because they actually sew it through before they back it uh, with that fused buckram, uh, that structured style that we, we heard earlier. So the customer won't notice any difference. It'll be durable, it'll look embroidered with 3D, um, and, and it'll look just like their professional grade hat. And that's really awesome. And so 3D embroidered pricing follows the same logic as embroidered patches. And as you're watching here to see how easy it is uh, to heat apply um, across you know, whatever hat style you want, whatever logo you want, um, again, very easy to execute. Just takes a little thicker white pad that comes with the machine and takes 60 seconds. Uh, so a little longer time, but still high quality, durable results. All right, guys, we're almost there. Did you know there were so many ways to decorate a hat? It's really interesting and you can have a lot of choice for your customer. The next one is one of our fastest growing products and that is a leather patch. We've seen this product trending everywhere with every type of customer. And what I'm gonna show you here is a genuine leather patch. So it's actual genuine leather and we offer it in three different colors depending on what your client wants. And you can see those color choices uh, here. Now, in this particular video, I'm decorating one of the most popular cap styles that are on the market. It's a Richardson 112. It's in super high demand. It's structured, it's low profile, it's a six panel, 
and it's one of the most difficult to decorate. But no match for the 360 IQ hat press and what you can do with this new machine. And so we load the hat, we take our leather patch, it already has the heat activated adhesive on the backing. Again, we're just gonna position it in place, hold it there um, until it starts to get a little better contact. You can use thermal tape if you want to, cover it with the foam cover pad uh, and heat apply. Leather is one of the easiest products to heat apply, one of the easiest products to order. And uh, this is a laser etch product, so you're getting a good contrast to the colors. Also, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, we may have launched, we just may have launched, or you'll know it's coming, uh, our faux leather patches as well, which will come in different colors and styles, and it's just a different option as opposed to the genuine leather uh, if you're shopping on price or you're looking for a color that's not offered in a genuine leather. So a little bit thinner, uh, same basic look and result, but just an option. They don't quite smell as good as the genuine leather, though, just to, just to tell you. The genuine leather is pretty cool uh, when you start to handle that and get in your first shipment. So very easy to do as well. Now, Dimensional products are everything in decorating headwear. We've shown you a wide variety of dimensional products, um, and those products are on fire in our business and growing like crazy. But there's also more than one way to decorate a hat. Um, there are full color transfers that you can use to decorate a hat if you just want a flat result with a full color transfer, or you, there's your traditional uh, heat transfer vinyl. And here at Stalls, we're a manufacturer of heat transfer vinyl, so we have a ton of different finishes. So if you wanna put glitter on a hat, that's an option for you. Um, if you wanna put a flock, which is like a fuzzy velvety material on a hat, you can certainly do that. One of my favorite new products that we have is this CAD cut soft foam. And uh, it's dimensional, and so it's a little bit thicker when you cut it and you weed it, but it can be cut on any vinyl cut or even a desktop craft cutter like a Cricut or a Silhouette. But if you have a Roland or a GraphTech, uh, certainly can cut it on there. Um, you cut it, you weed it, and that allows you to make as little as one hat profitably. So if you don't want to get into 25 hats and some of these higher end uh, looks and styles and options, certainly you can cut heat transfer vinyl, or you can do a print cut design with your printer cutter, or you can even order a transfer from Transfer Express. One of our most popular products for decorating hats from Transfer Express is called Ultra Color Soft. And the advantage of that is you can order um, as little as 20 pieces in a small hat size image with unlimited colors in your design with a lot of detail. And so uh, we're showing that product on the screen here for some of its other uh, applications it can be used for, but this product is beautiful on hats as well if you're just looking for something flat, simple, uh, with a lot of colors. So one tip I would give you is experiment with the different options. Order in a whole bunch of different styles of hats um, and some different transfer options and practice. Now, we've come out with what I think is a pretty phenomenal sample kit that will allow you to touch and feel and experience all of these different uh, samples. When we were coming up with the idea of it, I called it the beer flight card. Um, so if you've ever went out to a restaurant, if you, if you drink beer, you know, when you order a flight of beers, um, the waiter or the waitress will come out, they'll put down the card, you get a little explanation of everything you're about to taste, and then they'll put the little uh, small portion of the beer on the dot where it explains what it is. Well, this sample pack is a touch and feel just like that. And so you will get a card that you can fold out, you'll get an explanation of all of these dimensional logo products that we've went over, and you'll get a physical actual logo sample, uh, small, but a, a sample to touch and feel of each product. You can match it up, get to touch, feel, experience it, and then, hey, you can even uh, press that onto a hat if you already have the press. And some of these designs, almost all of them, come uh, in a pressure-sensitive style as well, sticky backing, which means there's other applications uh, for these products like drinkware, um, et cetera, uh, even uh, pad folios and folders for meetings. So uh, let your imagination run wild. This video was about hats, but on our Stalls TV YouTube channel, we publish at least three videos a week and we teach you about all of the opportunities and the money you can make in the world of custom apparel and promotional products. So make sure not only do you like this video, but you subscribe to the channel. Whew. All right, I'm running out of breath. Uh, we've given you a lot of information to absorb uh, what's next for you and your business. That's really the question. If you're already printing shirts and you have a quality heat press for printing your shirts, Will you expand and offer your clients hats as well? We've seen it be a great option. We've seen it very profitable. If you've not started, I would submit to you that potentially, uh, we say niche and get rich, that potentially 
you should start with hats. I feel like the market is a little less competitive. They've been tougher to print, more difficult to print in the past. And so there's less people printing hats because you can't just get a cheap heat press and be in the hat printing market with the quality of results that we've shown you here today. So I can make a solid case that you could specialize in hats and then eventually grow into shirts. But either way, we're your heat printing experts at Stalls. We're the source for all the products that will help you to print these items and make, it, make you profitable in your business. If you have any questions, guys, I am watching this video just like I watch our companion video to this, which is how to start your own t-shirt business printing from home. You'll be able to find that video down in the description or, or after this ends, but ask a question. Uh, tell me about your business in the comments. I'll make sure I keep up with the comments. I'll be able to respond directly to you. Uh, you'll hear from me or one of our other expert educators as we strive to help you be successful and create your own income with a heat press. Thanks for watching. We all know Josh has been producing videos for heat printing for years. Did you know he also has a podcast? It's called Heat Press for Profit, and you can listen to this wherever you're currently getting your podcast now.